and say, hello, everyone. Uh, are you ready for another adventure? I can technically swear in here because it's a stream, but I'm not going to. I'm here with Zenrut. Oh, and we're I can here. swear, but I also won't do it because you're going to upload this and it's going to get you demonetized if I do it too soon. Yeah, so we're going to... So gonna, I'll hold on to my swear. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you when the two-minute mark is go and then <laughs> the, the swearing can begin. But we're here because Tap. All in, right, excellent. Tappin is doing some updates before the big uh, pack drop, which was super unexpected. I didn't. Were you expecting this? I was actually one hundred percent not expecting any balance changes at all. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to come before the pack. I think it's probably going to come with the pack. You think? Hmm. Well, because it says it's part of an update in October, and Nero is supposed to come out in October, and we're literally like on the cusp of we're like halfway through october hmm, and just put in too many are they gonna do two app updates in like a week and a half it just seems weird right, why yeah. would you not just do it all at once i mean i could be completely wrong though it's true we've both been completely wrong about teppin before in the past i want to say that's our <laughs> calling card as far as absolutely teppin. absolutely uh so we're gonna talk about the things that are gonna be like balance change do you want to read what the developer here is saying about Thank you for continuing. Uh, and by the way, people in the stream who are watching the stream version, let me know if you cannot see the window here. Yeah. The here. people watching but, uh, this video should be able to see the screen. Yes. Okay, so basically, uh, the letter says that they're going to start changing some stuff. Uh, they're going to rebalance some hero arts and some cards, which I think... Is this the first time they rebalanced cards? Yes. I think it is, right? Yeah. Because last Gigante, time all they did was Nergigante, right? Yeah, they only slapped Nergigante because Nergigante was so dominant that they had yeah, he to was bring him too down. Good. Yeah. So this is like their first big balance patch because there's a lot of stuff changing. So before we get into it, I want to point out that they're doing the same thing uh, that Hearthstone does where when you when they change a card, they buff it or nerf it or whatever, mm -hmm. and you can dust it for the same amount of souls that you would need to craft that rarity. So, like, if they nerf, because, like, uh, let's say they nerf an epic, you can dust it, and then you can just craft a different epic with what you get. And the only card that is not eligible is Legend Eater Nergigante, which means it's 100% getting buffed, which it, it needs to be, because that card sucks. Yes, and a lot of the reason that card sucks is because... Uh, we'll get into it, actually. But, yeah, that card sucks horribly. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get there, but he's really bad. Yeah. Uh, so for the very first change before we get into any character-specific stuff is they're putting in mulligans. People have been crying for mulligans for a long time. Uh, so they're finally putting those in. I think part of that is for tournament. Because right now, competitive Teppin has a rule where if you open a brick, match ends, and you can restart. So like you're not allowed to brick your opening hand right now. For a minute, at least. So I think that this might... Maybe they'll get rid of that rule when they put mulligan in. Mm-hmm mulligan at the beginning of the round and if you still brick then you're just out of luck but also this is going to be a huge buff to a lot of like inconsistent decks big resonate i think this helps a lot ouroboros this helps a lot oh I that much for reasons we'll go into later but yeah i was going to say yeah if the it's a good thing coming up that they're making some changes to that because otherwise i completely forgot the fact that yeah you that that starting hand thing where i was like it doesn't really happen all that much with Ouroboros unless you get extremely unlucky or they get lucky that kind of changes with that because now they have two chances of getting it yeah a lot of people were talking about oh you know my deck never bricks anyway but like it's not just about bricking this is a second chance to draw whatever you want there's no stipulation that that you have to brick. It's just you get to mulligan if you want to. Yeah. The, and then they're nerfing the shit out of revenge, which yes, <laughs> my god. Yeah, they're gonna need it because revenge is, I think, far and away the greatest ability in the entire game, and that's like yeah, not, not even a... close. There's no debate. It's the best skill in the game. If you give revenge to, for example, Ouroboros, it goes back into your deck with plus two, plus two, and is now four cost. Yeah, it's the uh, Devil Joe, you mean? <laughs> yeah, Devil Joe. I keep forgetting. I call him Oro because he's so synonymous with Ouroboros. And yeah, I just call him the only deck he's ever played in, yeah. Yeah, so I just call him Oro because I'm like, that's his name, right? <laughs> that's who he is. <laughs> he's the Ouroboros. <laughs> he's the Ouroboros monster. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But but yeah, Revenge needed something. I think they're going to change. Maybe the mana reduction won't be as strong. Um, That would be my guess, is that they won't have the mana anymore one mana or something like that but 
I don't know, because yeah. I, I think this won't really hurt the lesser cost ones. Like, I think Zombie is still going to be extremely Yeah, Zombie is super good. It's not going to hurt any of the little guys, I don't think. No. The bigger the ones, ones and it's gonna hurt. Um, it's gonna hurt Agnes. Agnes is gonna lose a lot of value out of this. I think Tyrant might get a little bit hurt as well from this, just because the, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But if uh, uh, he stays like maybe a th- instead of going to a four, he turns into a three. Actually, I don't know. Maybe Tyrant is good enough that you're like I forget that he turns into a four <laughs> nine. So maybe it's still worth it. Yeah, a four nine for three mana is still good, <laughs> even yeah. with now, attack here's the... minion when he dies. It's also good. Now, here's the one thing. I don't know how far they're going to do the nerf, but there is a way to kill Revenge, which is removing the part where they get they get stats. Because if they remove stats, then a lot of these units become way worse if they just come back at lower cost. I think they're, I think they're more likely to change the cost than they are the stats, because the stats are a written effect on the actual card. Mm. A, a product of the mechanic. Okay. Yeah. Likely sure. to change the mana if they're going to do a sweeping mechanic change, at least. Yeah. So I'll be interested to see how this goes. Obviously, a lot of people do not playing a revenge. As someone who uses black, I also don't like playing black because it turns into like yeah, such it's... a drag out fight that is just not fun to, to play at a certain point. And it yeah, also black has into... like a consistent early game and it has the best end game that exists because revenge is so stupid. Like you shouldn't, it shouldn't be that universally good. So I'm glad it's losing a little bit of that staying power. It, it's really needed to lose that for a while. I think. Yeah, for sure. And now we can right, get so, into hero. Yeah. So now we're talking about heroes, which are the big changes. Uh, the very first one is wrath awoken. So my guess, is, I think everyone's guess is this is going to get nerfed. Hardcore. If they buff yeah. wrath awoken, I will stop playing Teppin <laughs> because what are they doing? <laughs> probably a chance that it doesn't scale anymore yeah like similar to nergi uh, it I won't think. build up yeah so you think it either, stops either it won't build up or it'll cap they might cap it at like five or something i don't know mm. i would say okay. they might cap it at two i'm gonna say that's how bad a nerf this is getting is that at most you're only gonna get two to attack from it and then, then the ability to fly and that's it I but it see keeps, it it keeps the I mean, it's the in the chat says he thinks it might lose flight. I don't know. I feel like flight is the defining thing about it. Yeah. If it loses Not that flight, good, like just it's... give a bunch of attack and nothing else. Yeah. I think it can... I, I would ra- at least personally I'd rather get less attack and keep flight. Yeah. Especially since like attack is now something that's pretty I am not pretty easy. Only two real um decks. No, actually three cuz green can stop it with that card that res- resets the um I was gonna say green can reset bracket. stats. Purple and black have hard removal. Ryu can break through HP. It's just not hard to to break individual units. Yeah, and at the worst case scenario, it can also be stolen. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, I just uh, yeah, I think fly is too much. Life and I think I think fly and two attack is my. Whoop! Because not much of anything. Maybe just less attack. Like you shouldn't get to the point you're giving your unit nine attack. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's uh, that's the the fucked up thing about Wrath is that no matter how much, it's a, it's a similar problem with Nergigante is that over time he just gets better and better and better. That was the original problem with Nergigante is that like the match would enter the mid game and he'd be like, I can deal like thirty damage to everyone, so I can hit it. I can use a board clear with like twenty six power. Yeah. yeah, it was a problem. So next up on the list. Morgan's Darkness Illusion. So that's obviously getting nerfed too. The, the hardcore nerf. The problem. The here's the thing that I'm seeing. I don't know how badly they're gonna nerf this because, like, the main problem with Darkness Illusion is that you. It's so easy to get slow. Not slow I think hard. they might just um, increase the cost. I think that might be all that happens to this. But I'm gonna say it's gonna be a huge increase. I would say, it's, I think we I've, we've been joking a lot in our tep and chat about the idea of Nero coming out with a thirty cost skill. I think this might actually be thirty cost if they're going to keep the fact that it can kill an entire board wipe. It might actually get close to thirty because I think I don't Dante think it's has... going to go to thirty because it's dependent on cards and so it can run out. Like there's there you can get to a point where Darkness Illusion can no longer be used. What what's the um, current? Twenty seven is the highest on Dante. Right? It's fifteen right now. 
Yeah, it's fifteen. That's way too low. But I'm trying to think. The highest cost of something is yeah, twenty-seven. Quicksilver is with twenty-seven. Yeah, Dante. Darkness Illusion is fifteen. Yeah, Dante is twenty-seven. So I'm gonna say if that's shitty skill can be twenty-seven, that this one deserves to be at least the same amount. Okay, to be fair, Quicksilver is obviously not balanced properly because it's clearly not ba- like good enough to be 27. Most skills in the game are better than it and cheaper than it. Yeah. And the funny I thing would is, say is that... I could probably see this going to 23 or 24. Yeah, I think that's around a good a good pace. I think 20 was enough to kind of like not funny enough that at the time of release, the Nergigante nerf was enough to kill Nergigante at that time and then he's slowly kind of been built up because the Japanese refused to play anything else but Nergigante. So I think you can yeah, definitely... why do Japanese players hate Nergigante? I don't know. They don't like uh, Rathalos right now either. They don't think he's very good, which is a really weird thing to me. They were also the ones who said they also believe that Ouroboros is a meme deck, which they're half right. It's also a very good meme deck. Oh well, yeah. They they're not wrong. It's definitely a meme. It's just also top tier. Exactly. Um my thought for Darkness Illusion is same effect, but costs maybe 24 AP, 23 or 24 AP. Yeah. I think, uh, again, if you want, we want to talk about worst case scenario, I think literally they put a limit on how many units you can kill, and that would be effectively killing this card. Not this card, this ability. Uh, like, so you, you mean like it, you can't do all three? Like you could only do two or something? It only does two. And that change is kind of like how you... I guess it's similar to how like Nergigante where it's like, you know how um, you know the threshold of it. So you are able to play more high HP monsters to kind of prevent the, the entire board from being wiped. So in essence, if you just keep on playing stuff or you have enough stuff in the background, you know, you, you know, for a fact, it can only kill two. And if it's random, which one, which two it kills, then you just got to hope that um, you got to play around it. It's easier to play around with. If you know, there's a limit to how much they can kill from you. Is what I'm trying right. to say. Right. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, the next one, Dark Destruction, which I kind of think is... It's going to get nerfed. But, like... Here's too the, much? So here's the thing. And I'm going to say this is going to be extremely controversial. I'm going to say right now, they are buffing Dark Destruction. Really? You think they're buffing Dark Destruction? I think they're buffing Dark Destruction. I do not see that at all. I'm going to say it's going to go up to six. I definitely think it's going to get nerfed. I'm going to say it's go up to one to six, but it's going to be slightly cost more. And that's going to be considered a buff. I I think they're going to keep it at five, and then they're going to bump it to like 22 or something like that. Hmm. That's also possible. I can see it both ways. But if you look at all the changes very closely, you'll realize that Wesker's getting hit in every single department. Revenge, that makes his third skill much worse. Dark Destruction, in theory, if it gets nerfed, that's another hit to him. And then they're also hitting Ouroboros and a bunch of cards that Ouroboros uses. That would mean this is a harder cap than what they did to Nergigante because they're in essence going, I guess you, if you want to play back Black, you better change to another hero. Yeah, uh, but I mean, even if they nerf all of this stuff, he's still better than X. So he's like. Still better than I will say that I think dark if with dark destruction getting its cost rec- uh, increased, I don't think it can beat Veil vale X because it will be too slow at that point. One of the best things about X was that he could still get through it because Green played fat bodies. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I mean, I don't know. We'll see. But that's my current. No, I, 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 I don't see it getting buffed. But I, I respect the bold claim that, that is made with. I, I respect the bold, educated guess. Yeah, it's, it's the bold. <laughs> I, educated I respect guess. it. That's that's currently going. I I think it's more than likely it's getting nerfed because, um, a lot of people do not play like playing against Wesker. They do not like the idea of Wesker. So it's been time. It's about time for Wesker to get hit. And I say this as a Wesker main is that I understand that a lot of people do not like playing Wesker or playing against Wesker. Uh, Wesker is not fun to deal with for sure. No, and I also not at all. Which Wesker. then brings us to the next one, uh, Ouroboros, a hundred percent getting nerfed. Hundred percent getting nerfed. There is no way to avoid it. The, the real question is how bad are they going to get a buff? Oh, that'd be hilarious if it actually got a buff. It brings back all all things in the grave. They got buff. <laughs> Um, I, I think they're, I think they're going to leave the cost alone, mm-hmm. but they're going to make it so that the unit comes back not as strong. Like it'll come back minus one, minus one or something like that. 
or minus two, minus two. I don't know. I think it's possible. How much are you going to make it cost? You're going to make it cost like 28? Like, what are you going to do? No, it is one of the, I think you can make it, maybe make it cost just a little bit more. I think it's below 20 right now. Is No, it's 22, right? 22. 22 and still one of the best uh, abilities in the game. Or. Hmm. Yeah. It's just like at 22, you're starting to hit that point that's like a little bit weird. Like, yeah. you. I think when you start putting skills at like 20, 25, 26, you're hitting that unplayable point. Mm-hmm. It's just not worth it. Uh, I think there's So like a... even if you can hit that point with Wesker, you're going to get to the point where it's like, I should just play Dark Destruction instead. Hmm. If I have to get 26 AP to get one guy back. I'm going to say I think for Ouroboros, it's likely for it to get uh, in a way that makes it still playable, but also a lot of, like, maybe I'm going to say a lot of complaint. I'm going to say a lot of complaint from our Tep in chat is that Dark currently feels like there's no repercussions for some of the high moves that they do. Then that's mainly because all the ones that have the highest cost aren't actually worth it, and the one with the lowest cost are super worth it. But I think for Ouroboros, I think some, giving it something like every time you use it, it's five life. So if you bring back... I could that. Like some, because and it still balances it out because you still have cards like um, sacrificial prey and stuff like that. But now it makes it so that if you want to keep abusing it, you have to actually play with those units that are the, those cards that heal you. Otherwise, like like it makes it a little bit easier to go like, well, is he going to use it now or is he going to like? In in that way, you can also try and like get Wesker to lower HP as soon as possible. That also makes it so that Ryu basically has the game one against or or every single time. Because anything where it's like, I'm going to deal damage to myself, and then uh, Ryu's like, okay, how about you take three more, two more, three more, two more, and now you're dead. I could see that. that that's actually a good drawback. I kind of like that. Yeah. I think it just works. Just because like, you, can't, you can't just make the game last forever. Because that's part of the problem with Ouroboros right now. Is like, that's why it's completely unwinnable for Ryu. Because mm-hmm. Ryu wants to play a War of Attrition, and you just cannot win that at all. No, it's very tough. Unless Orbors never caps. There, there is one card in the entire game that Ryu can play. There's two cards in the entire game that Ryu can play that can stop Orbors. One of them is um, uh, Rapalos, and you have to hope that uh, Wesker does not have a way to instant destroy it. And the other way is I can't remember the name. It's the Monster Hunter that looks like a unicorn. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, that's Kieran. Kieran. So Kieran. If I don't know if you've I don't know how much Kieran you've played against Wesker. If you drop a Kieran on a Wesker, they won't know how to react because the second they play a unit, it will automatically get destroyed. If so, it has two life though. No, because then you play with the uh the Ryu that buffs um how much damage something does. Oh, Denjin. Denjin, Denjin <laughs> Rinky. So you'd use it once, and it turns into this thing that basically deals six damage anytime any unit on the field is played. So what they do I is that would get pretty crazy. Yeah. So what they do is they play all their revenge cards. They automatically die. Then they play Ouroboros. Then it gets killed, or it gets dealt a lot of damage. Then you could play a monster, and then it dies regardless. <laughs> it's the funniest shit ever. That's pretty I, funny. I've seen Wesker's basically go. I don't know how to play against this. <laughs> this has literally stopped me in my fucking tracks. That would stop anybody. Like, what do you do if you can't play cards? Yeah. Uh, against Wesker, it's really funny because they're just like, I have low-cost fat bodies. And it's like, all my low-cost fat bodies just died. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah. So I'll be interested to see the changes to Ouroboros. I still think it will probably be playable. But I would like it if they had, like like I said, the five-cost life. I think that works out perfectly fine. Yeah, I think that's a good change. So the next one is Dive Attack from Rathalos, which blows right now. It's so bad. It's so bad. Uh, it's definitely getting buffed. And part of the reason it's getting buffed might be because... Rathalos is about to get its fucking shit yeah. locked in. <laughs> about to get destroyed. 100%. We'll see. So right now, all it does is give two attack to your board. Mm-hmm. Not so bad. Um, there's like two cost card that does that. Like it's it's so bad. Yeah, twenty five. It costs twenty five to do that. I didn't realize it costs so much. Why does it cost so much? Yeah. It costs so much. It's twenty five AP to do nothing. That's very stupid. Yeah, <laughs> it's really bad. 
you could see them in their head going like, I don't know, that's too attack to everything on your board. That has to like I feel some of those abilities are exactly that them going like, I don't know, this affects your entire board. I think twenty five. But then for Morgan they were like, I don't know, you need to kinda use halt cards, so I think, you know, don't make it too too heavy cost. So they ended up doing like the thing where it's like, actually, no, all the Hulk cards are super inexpensive. So I'm just going to run this. And then for everyone else, I was like, why did you do this? Why did, why have you hurt us so much? Uh, it, I don't, yeah, they definitely didn't have a good sense of the value of skills. I think in the very beginning, cause like obviously dive attack is not worth 25, even close. No. It, it's like even the effect really isn't that good and then like for example quicksilver is 27 it's the most expensive skill in the game 23 ap skill that is just a better version of quicksilver so like why the fuck even i yeah we'll get a little bit more into quicksilver but i think i kind of understand where they were coming with that i always i just think that they hit it too hard with the restraints I feel like they should have had Quicksilver have its moment in the sun before they decided to nerf it right off the bat. But uh, to get back to Dive Attack, I have absolutely no idea what the hell they could do to this card to make it better. The only thing I could think about it was making it more like Reckless Charge. But then I realized that would be game-breaking if you had an ability that was like, even at 25 cost, everything on your field gets two attack and then immediately attacks. I think that just means you win. Yeah, that would be a little bit too good. <laughs> yeah. A little bit too good. It's, yeah, that's too good. So I don't know. I'll be. I just. I, I don't know. I, I. I mean, you can put more attack on it, but lower the cost. You get to the. Yeah, you'd have to just lower the cost, I guess, because if you put too much more attack on it, you're gonna start getting to the point where it's like, all right, this is way too much. Oh, you know, five or six attack to all your entire board for free. But at the same time, like two attack is nothing, and everything's still gonna die just as fast, and but to like fifteen cost or something. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'll be interested in seeing how they buff it because I just don't see they would have to do a complete rework. I think this is how bad I think dive attack is. Is that it, like the the thing to fix it? Would not just, be... just throw it away and change it completely. You mean? Scrap it and start from the beginning. I think that's the best case scenario for dive attack. I feel like a lot of these others, you can work within the parameters of what they are. But for dive attack, I really just don't see it. Unless, like like I said, unless you give it, like, a you make it so that everyone can attack right at that moment. Or you give them all agility. But then again, that'd be something that's just way too game-breaking at that point. So, yeah. I don't know. Or maybe two attack and shield and lower cost. But then at that point, you're also just screwing over Jill, who has that a similar ability. Yeah. You're screwing over Jill and you're screwing over um, Gil, the, the Burning Shield or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. That's blazing right, Shield. That, that, yeah, Blazing Shield, yes. So I don't know. I, I don't know. This is a hard one to rebalance just because of how much it sucks. Yeah. And the fact that... Like, it's we... just really hard to, to think of a way it balances evenly. Yeah. The only time I've ever seen someone play dive attack is when I hit free match, and I feel like that person was just like, I don't know. It could work. You Trying know. out the default Rathalos deck? Yeah. I mean, the, the default Rathalos deck was so bad, that's why everyone thought Rathalos was so garbage, because dive attack was just so bad. Well, I mean, they're... Yeah. <laughs> A lot of cards, like, the default decks just were terrible, and people were like, well, this guy sucks, and then it turns out he was pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna... Dive attack. Dive attack blows. I don't know. I don't have anything else to say about it. I. No. I let's. There's let's... nothing to say. It just sucks a lot. Yeah. I like this art where it kind of looks like Rathalos is getting ready to do the sickest Doctor Doom dive kick. Uh, other than that, that's the only foot thing. Dive. I... <laughs> the foot dive. <laughs> like... Foot dive. It does look like a foot dive. It does. Uh, but it still sucks either way. So let's foot move on to shit. the man of the hour. The man with the power. Yeah, so this is obviously my uh, most exciting change. Is uh, Quicksilver is getting definitely buffed. There's no way it's getting nerfed because you can't even play it right now. Um, make it cheaper because its effect is already really good. Yes, I would say. Cheaper, they gotta make. It. Yeah, Quicksilver has maybe one of the most deadly effects, and it's still so bad 
that you're just like i think at most anyone will only be able to use quicksilver once and if you can't win after you use quicksilver once then pack it up then because there's no winning for you the only time i've been able to use quicksilver multiple times in a game was when i was playing the four cost like deck Mm -hmm. it from quicksilver so like they're the only core i've ever used that was strong enough to run the game long enough for me to do two quicksilvers but they're, me doing it didn't do anything because they don't work with it. Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of problem is I think Quicksilver works best with... It works with one of them, the one that's like, I get to sneak attack. That one, I forget his Vector. name. Vector, yeah. Yeah, but that's basically it. Because you, what you want to do with Quicksilver is basically make it so their units are so ineffective that you can just literally fly over them and deal direct damage over and over again. But so little. Like you want to like, use stuff, yeah, like the little tiny flyers, like the blood goils and like Jester and stuff. But you can't because it takes fucking forever to get it. Yep. And yeah, you just can't do it. I think all they're gonna do is is make it cheaper because it's really good. Like the actual effects are really good, but yeah, that's why I feel like it got so hard, like um, capped at such a high cost. Is that it is actually really good, and the one time it was used against me, I was like, oh shit. What am I going to do? Because <laughs> literally the, he just completely fucked up my day in one go. And I was able to, um, in the time it took for me to go like, let me quickly just fix my board. It was too late for Dante to do anything because he had already taken so much damage. He had already been like, this was my last gambit and I have to hope he doesn't recover. And then I recovered and immediately won. So it was yeah, like. Well, yeah, exactly. Because you have to do so much that you can't, you can't like profit off of it really. Yeah. Um. So, definite buff. Yeah, like I said, the only the only core I've ever used that let me get Quicksilver more than one time was the the four pack, and that's only because they're so strong on their own, and without needing a hero ability, like, hmm. and and you could just play fucking Shadow Blade like everybody else does, and it's a million times better. So like, yeah, never get buff. But anyway, on to the cards. The first one I'm sure you're very, very happy about. I'm so happy about this. I'm <laughs> s- I hate this card with a burning passion. Yeah, if if anyone saw that Twitter video that I posted the other day where it was literally, I was down 30 at two life, my opponent at 30. Yep. And I used this card one time and I won the whole game. So. It's such a dumb stupid. card. I think so. Um... And the thing is, like, people will, people will jump really quickly to tell you it's not even that important and i'm like you're, you're right it's not that important rathalos as he is right now does not need this card to be good no it's fucking stupid either way like yes. it's still it's, it's stupid dumb. so the, the main problem was that it just it cost one it, which yeah, is so a- you could just immediately just play as many as you wanted like i've lost games before to people just being like Reckless charge. Okay, immediately reckless charge. No like resources necessary to use it or anything. You can just drop it. And again, don't think it's broken or anything like that, but it's to cost more, at least, I yeah. think. Uh, my current theory is that it's going to cost three and also going to cost two life because it does say reckless charge. There's nothing reckless about this charge at all. <laughs> I like, think they might, this might be too much. This might be too hard of a nerf. Hmm. But with the name like Reckless Charge, I almost want to think they're going to make it like those black cards that kill the unit after the attack. Oh. Hey, but that then you would... die. Huh. It might be too much of a nerf, though. That that might be too hard. No. I think they have to play into something with Reckless Charge. Like, I think if they use it, there, there should be a way to stop it. Like, because that's the main thing, is that also because it's Hugo... And Hugo's running at you, and he's also super slow. Here's the thing. Reckless Charge is better than Hugo's Reckless Charge. That's how... <laughs> you That's can... true. You it can... is. You can stop Hugo's Reckless Charge pretty easy. The The problem is that yeah, this card... Hugo's is like... Reckless Charge is a, bad, a yeah. bad move. Yeah. So I feel like if, if even if they keep it at two cost so that it keeps under the... Um the ability to use it for free in essence if like your opponent plays a card then you can play it i think there has to be some kind of effect that's like uh it may be you know the similar to how um what is the name of that seven cost that if you play a card it seals it I uh tigrex 
Tigrex. So it makes it so that if your opponent plays an ability after you use Reckless Charge, it stops it, basically. That's my current, like... That would be, All right, I think, that, that's a little too much, I think. That just Any shows card much- and Yeah, you, you really hate that card. I really uh, Hayabusa like card. in the chat is asking, uh, what does it do? He's not familiar with it. Okay. Uh, what it does is it immediately fills your attack gauge. But, like, that's why Rathalos will use it, and what they'll do is they'll wait for the combo unit to hit and do, like, 15 or whatever, and then you immediately play it on the same unit, and it'll just attack again. Yeah, and it costs one. Playing, you can't block it, and it only costs one mana. There's only... So you basically get two attacks back-to-back, and it's not easy to stop because they're always going to be flying or something. Yes. So you have to either negate it, you have to halt it, or you have to kill the unit that they use it on. It's the only way to get around it. And only black and purple have that ability. That's basically it. Red like, can do it. Red can do it? Oh, that's right. Red can do it. They um, can just blow it up. And actually, technically, green can do it too because they could seal it, and then the attack would just hit the unit in the front. Assuming that there's a unit in the front or something. Assuming that the, there's a unit in the front and they have the seal card, yeah. Yeah. So, like but technically, said, it's, it's possible. It is technically possible. It's one of those things of technicalities, but there's just so many games where you're just like, I can't do anything. So congrats, you win. <laughs> Like, uh, all these things where he's yeah. like, oh, there's technically ways to stop it. But then in practice, when you actually get to fight the card, it doesn't happen that often. Yeah, it really doesn't. And everyone's like, oh, you only run one of them in Rathalos anyway. And, like, again, it doesn't hurt Rathalos. But I don't care if it hurts Rathalos or not. I just care that it hurts this card. There's yeah. no excuse that I should be able to win my opponent is at full health in one attack. Like, that's ridiculous. Any card that enables that is too good, no matter what, in my yeah. opinion. That's true. All right, Maybe. so enough ranting about that one. The next card sucks for me that it's getting nerfed. I don't. I, don't, I wish it wasn't, uh, is Ibuki. This one also kind of sucks for me because I that. really like this card. Yeah, so she is definitely getting nerfed. There's no way she's getting buffed. She's way too good. Um, I don't think they're going to take agility away from her. I think what they're probably going to do is make her resonate buff smaller Mm. like plus one plus one like trish probably i don't know she keeps agility i really don't think she keeps agility i think agility is too good she loses agility but keeps the one the plus one plus two yeah i'm kind of with i'm kind of with that i think she keeps plus two plus two but she loses um agility she's plus one plus two right now only senko is plus two plus two oh is it okay so i'm gonna say yeah plus one plus two she loses agility just because agility is the real problem with Fabuki, I'd say. It's not the actual um, – it's never been about her stats. It's always about the fact that she gets played and you're like, I'm dead three seconds later. And I was really <laughs> – there was really nothing to stop it because she's literally faster than anything you can do. Like there's no way to put a body yeah, up in front I, of I her. Yeah, I just feel like agility is – the card's identity and like if you take that away it's just a shitty version of trish and yeah that's again this is a tough one because i i will see what they think the problem is with this card i always feel like it's agility if anything they might replace agility with what's that card no that doesn't make her that doesn't make it any better the thing that raflos has which is rush but that doesn't really help because you can't. You in theory can't play a Buki and then <laughs> immediately buff her. Right, and you, then have get her. To, yeah, you have to save up to like ten mana before you could even play her. Yeah, will do because like you don't want to drop her flat on a Ryu board or anything like that. So maybe that's that could be it. But I don't know. Maybe. I feel maybe. like she needs agility to retain any sort of identity as a card. If she keeps agility, I'm gonna say she's actually gonna lose the plus one, which makes her a uh, plus zero plus two. And that's gonna. She would, oh, she would suck so much. But that's maybe the thing is that I, <laughs> that's all the things that that are good about her. It's like I think it's not the stat game with her. It's literally the fact that she just like gets so much damage on her so quickly that it's impossible to stop her. No, cool. Well, because I feel like it's it's both. Mm-hmm. Because uh, like obviously Senko gets fatter stats, but she's not a problem because she's slow. Yes. Agility is what the big thing is for Ibuki there. But if you take the stats away, having the agility just doesn't matter. Because, like, who cares? Mm-hmm. You're in agility. Like, Dante has agility and flight. Yeah. Uh, like, he has built-in flight, too. So, like, I, I, and then he just has the stats, and he's easy to deal with. So it's it's a combination of both that's the problem. And I don't know how they're going to address it without killing the card. But we'll see. 
yeah, we'll see how this one goes. I'll be interested to see how far they take this one. Because they could just be a simple plus one, plus one. I will say that it's been easier to deal with Ibuki. Like, um, Green has some good ways of stopping her. The main the main issue is that if you try and seal her, they still get, like, um, at most... They can still, still get at least one buff afterward. And then you get countered. I've also played people that were, that were not smart enough to uh, stop playing cards. So, like, they would seal her, and then I would play a card to get a buff, and then they would keep going. So I just kept stacking the buffs, and then she got sealed. So it was like... No. that That's the thing, is that you have to... Body, so. Yeah, you have to know immediately to just stop. That's the way to stop a lot of purple decks, and the stop also Ryu sometimes is that you just let them play at cost every single time, and that will stop a lot yeah, of you decks. you can't keep giving people free mana. Exactly. A lot of people do that. It's not the way to go. Um, so, yeah. Right, so the next card yeah. is... Utsu Semi Technique, which is basically the Naruto substitution jutsu. That's pretty much what it is. Or it's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, so it changes any card that's targeting a card on the field different target. Uh, the problem with it right now is that you can still target the card that was originally chosen. So it doesn't always change. Oh, is, is that... Is change that... Is it. <laughs> Is that why when one time I I chose to hit face with Ryu and they used this card and I was like I had no idea that they could reverse this on me I'm about to take six damage they still got hit themselves still got hit yeah so like you would use it and you'd think oh great now it's gonna go hit Ryu instead but actually nope it's just gonna fucking hit you again you have a fifty percent chance of it just hitting you That's so the card hilarious. is a four mana coin flip to yeah it's just not I, I think. I think what they're going to end up doing is probably make it like it'll go to a random different target other than the one that was originally chosen. And keep the cost. It's, yeah, keep everything the same except for the fact that all that it can't hit the original target. Yeah. The hands right good. now, it's literally just uh, a four mana, maybe you get something. It's a four mana card that can dud. It's like the only card in the game that can completely dud without you misplaying. Okay. Fair. I was about to say, there. Are, uh, don't tell, tell that to a lot of Ouroboros players who don't understand. Once I've taken their stuff, they don't have it anymore. <laughs> okay. Without you misplaying, yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, yeah, I. There's nothing Good, really to say like, for this one. For that, that's a strong ability if someone misplays against it, like, because if you know, if let's say a fat purple like a Dante player has a really fat Ibuki out. And you're like you're doing that thing you do where you're both buffing your Ibukis back and forth, mm -hmm. and then they try to brainwash it. Well, then you can just brainwash theirs instead with Utsu Semi. Yeah, it would be really good. Um, but it, it's ridiculous that you can spend four mana on it and then just dud out and get nothing. Yeah, that's the thing that sucks. I think it'd be a pretty fun card. Um, it's another thing in purple's just arsenal of stuff that's just like oh, I can kind of fuck you over in ways you did not expect. So congrats. Um, so. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it would be a fun, cool card to use if it was good. So, I would like to see it be good. Let's hope. And now, speaking of something that's good, let's move on to God, the next really one. really good. So, four eyes. Uh, that's definitely a nerf. One hundred percent for that's sure. A big old nerf. Yeah, a hundred million percent. That's a nerf. Um, it's. I don't know if maybe they'll put a. People have thrown a million theories about it. Like, maybe they'll put a mana cap on it. Or maybe um, they'll change the health. So the health has to be lower. So it's easier to counter the unit that gets stolen. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But she's really dumb, as it stands right now. I feel like, um, for her, it's going to be original HP. Meaning that if they take damage, you can't take it. Oh, so like you can't weaken a card to take yeah. it. It's only if the if it starts at four or lower. Yeah, uh, that's the current thing I feel it's gonna go to. Because the main problem was is that you could just use Shadow Blade and then they hit exactly four. So you get someone like um, Devil Joe, for example. You slap him once and then you take it and then you've effectively killed Ouroboros in one move. Yeah, the the big thing Hayabusa is asking. He doesn't see what the hype about her is. The big thing about her that makes her so dumb steal a card it goes to your graveyard yeah for example with wesker if you steal one of his ouroboros guys he doesn't get it back nope so he can't do anything with it anymore 
Or even like, you know, you'll play against, say, uh, a green deck or a Rathalos. And they drop that. Well, as soon as you pull her with four eyes, wash, and now you're getting all of that boosted mana that the Rathalos would be getting. It's basically an incredibly easy four mana brainwash. It, the the value swing is just ridiculous. She's also common, isn't like she? I don't know. She's not epic. She, she's either common or rare. Yeah, something like she's. You can also run three of her, and her cost is four. And the main thing about brainwash is that you can react to brainwash. You can probably, in theory, try and do something. And it also costs seven, so you know whatever they're doing, they're risking it on the fact that they're stealing this unit from you. With four eyes, it is, I have field advantage. What if I had more field advantage and they were well, at a deficit? I have, I have a problem. Um, it's not a four-cost steal restriction. It's a four-life steal restriction. Mm -hmm. so is Shadow Blade, and then, like, how many units have more than eight life? Like, none? None. Uh, default eight? So all you have to do is Shadow Blade and then drop her with a four cost buddy and it's a steal. Yep. Or cost or less, she would be way worse. For sure. Mm -hmm. So there's there's literally no way to change her cost because she then would not work in the four cost deck. Yeah, you can't you can't make her uh cost more because then it'll knock her out of the core. Yeah, and you can't you can't also hurt her in terms of like the um the stat department, because she's already like a one. <laughs> she's already got one defense. She's a two one, and the stats have never been the problem. No, she's basically just a two mana card to die really quick. It's it's all about being an unreactable brainwash. Yeah, then that's the main uh, thing. So it, they have to limit what they can pull somehow. So either they'll put a mana cap on her her steal, so maybe she can't steal anything over five mana or something like that, mm -hmm. or they'll lower the life, or like you said, they'll make it natural life. Anybody mm -hmm. with a natural seven or something, I, I don't know. Yeah, but they got to do something because she is ridiculous. I've lost entire four by four games to the fact that someone played their four eyes quicker than me, stealing my four and then preventing me from playing my four eyes, which I yeah, played at the exact same time. The buff. Yeah, mm -hmm. so she's just incredibly dumb. She's like, it's like one of those things where four by four is already extremely good. They don't need that. Yeah, they didn't need that. <laughs> they don't need the free brainwash. They really don't. And I also feel like the fact that they're um, kind of nerfing her also means that I don't think Nero's getting a brainwash ability either. Probably not. I, I mean, it wouldn't even really make sense for him to. It's just funny because the Devil Bringer, everybody calls it Snatch. Oh, yeah. Well, at um, that point, he should just have <laughs> and that's what and they call it. So, yeah, four eyes. I, I get it. I think, the, I think the deck still stays strong and four eyes still sees play, but she's yeah, just gonna be top tier even with you limit that you put limitation you just won't play as many four eyes whatever play more vector it's not like vector is bad exactly so there's four eyes and i think uh 80 11 in the chat says what are your thoughts on playing hunk in fours uh, i think hunk is really good hunk is really <laughs> personally good. hunk is so super, dumb super good he he's uh he's basically at some point him and jury freaky friday and I feel like at I some was point... about to say that I was about to say I think he's better than Jury. Yeah. Um, Jury's so easy to stop, I, in my opinion. And that, that, to be fair, if Jury can be allowed to get forward, then you lose. But at that point, if if they got lucky enough that Jury is able to beat you, then hey, Jury is able to beat you, and that's the end of the game. Oh it's... yeah, well, like Feng Shui Engine is stupid. That card's yeah. crazy good. But it's tied to Jury, who is not that good. No. It's the same. It, like, my... She has, a, she has a... mm -hmm. stats that are way below her cost. It's similar so, to So, yeah, it's, how it's I... all about if you get... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was just saying it's all about getting Feng Shui Engine. And if you don't get Feng Shui Engine, there's no point in playing the card. The other problem is that she's legendary, meaning you only have one shot at this, which is my same problem with the black... Uh, I forget his name. The... Uh, Jetta, the Jetta one, like his 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 soul oh, yeah. card is extremely good. Good luck ever trying to get that shit off. It will never work out for you. It's just impossible. Cause he has to. Uh, it won't. Yeah, no. That this, that's completely off topic of what the original question was. Though at this yeah. point, we've we've tangented too hard. I know. Uh, Hunk is super good. Yes, <laughs> that, that's my thoughts on that. Hunk is a beast.
So the next one impacts you personally, and it kills yeah. my meme. I can't meme with Rathalos anymore if they if they nerf this too hard. Uh, yeah. False Throne. Uh, False Throne is an extremely dumb card. Yeah, it really is. Um, uh, it's the it's the Ouroboros enabler. It is like um, Black's Reckless Charge. Basically, only basically. it's better in every conceivable way. Because in every matchup that doesn't have a brainwash, so literally everything except purple, mm -hmm. uh, this starts that inf the infinite revival. Like, the endless revival loop is started by this card, and there's really nothing you can do about it unless you can steal. And it's so good that if you don't draw it, it kind of hurts the deck hardcore. Like, if you don't draw fa False Throne, by the way, it is 100% possible for you to just get your ass kicked because it's like... The problem is is that the deck, once you start getting your revenge, it returns cards to the deck. So you just never know when False Throne is coming. It kind of like It's kind of like, um, basically, in essence, shuffling your deck constantly in Yu-Gi-Oh! So you never get the one card you need. Yeah, and then, like, if you end up drawing into... Um prior to when you want to use Ouroboros, you're out of luck because now you have to play him instead of just getting him into the graveyard for free. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, False Throne, I really think it's going to be similar to Reckless Charge. It's no longer be going to be... Uh, one cost is going to be three. And I also think this needs a life cost to it. It's not, like I really think Ouroboros should be running on the fact that it should be extremely hard for it like you can't just have your literal game winning thing enter your graveyard immediately like there has to be a cost and i think three cost and it's like no cost yeah like three three cost and then three life i think that's fair enough yeah that that's a it's hard for me because i don't feel like i want everything that wesker does to cost life because I don't think that that's the way that a lot of his cards were originally designed. I think Wesker was kind of built around revenge, and Nergigante was kind of built around the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. um, it, but I, I just think a higher mana cost is good enough. The main thing, the reason I say it is just that, like I know those cards were made for Nergigante, but Wesker uses them. Like selfish predation makes it so that in theory, like his actual life cost is way higher because all of them call it give you seven HP. So he has, in essence, um, not 30, he has 51 HP. Oh, so, well, yeah, sure. Like, I know that um, that's not the way they um, intended it to be, but I really do think that, like, if you want to start hurting the fact that, like, Wesker... Wesker st has to stop having the free ride if people are ever going to stop complaining about Wesker. Uh, yeah, he really does get all of his stuff for free. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really ridiculous. That's why everybody, whenever you ask who's the biggest brain deck, everyone's like, oh, it's Wesker. Yeah. To, to be good at Wesker. It's. Yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you make it a higher mana cost, where it's not necessarily free anymore, mm -hmm. because right now it's literally free. Yes. Like you is. just start the round with it and play it, and it's like, okay, I'm one mana behind. Who gives a shit? And then you put in your zombie. It doesn't matter if I'm one mana behind. Yeah. Because you have a bunch of, like, zombies and dogs and just, like, oh, that's right, none of this matters to me at all. Uh, do you think being behind in mana matters at all by one? It doesn't. No. You have all this cheap shit and you have all that revenge. It just doesn't make a difference. Yeah. And that's, like, my biggest problem with Wesker is that he gets so much value at, like, no effort. And so if you make playing False Throne to open the round, like, you would still want to do it because you don't want to be in a situation where you are not using False Throne. Mm -hmm. Set him back mana wise, and he actually has to deal with a fucking drawback to his ability. Yeah, is enough for me. And even if they wait for the free mana, he's still having to pay one mana, which I think is still like either way, of cost has to be paid for something. It's similar to like reuse um, that that card that deals three damage uh, to the enemy's face. That costs three, so even if it, you play it for free, it still costs one. So there's still like a, I still had to pay something for this because it's too good, and I think that's similar to False Throne. I think False Throne fits a similar dynamic to Wesker, where if the deck can't function without it, then it obviously needs to be costing more. Yeah, if the deck can't function without it, but if you get it, the deck wins. It needs to cost more. Yes. Absolutely, one hundred percent. So even if. Uh, 
even if again if they don't um give in i think three class is perfectly fine but i think people will still uh complain unless there's some more drawbacks to playing just the false throne but we'll see we'll see how they decide the 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 chip shall fall yeah we'll we'll see there's a lot of ways they could go about it but i i don't know Mm -hmm. it's hard to say so the last guy on the list is legend eater nergigante Mm. the worst legendary card in the game yes i would say he's really bad zero three and then you get plus seven plus seven by getting rid of like what 10 cards from your deck is that the 10 or something i want to say it's like an it's absurd amount it's has I think to it's be... 10 it is 10 cards and then yeah, that's way too so a third of your deck to become what a seven ten creature yes and here's the problem through an obliterate or whatever immediately yeah not obliterate that doesn't even matter because like you can get obliterated or whatever but also green has a card that makes him a zero three because the plus oh yeah it reverts his stats <laughs> yes so you just paid for half of your deck and you now have a zero three and then also if you let's assume like you're running the extremely good um black card that brings back something with minus one minus one fucking nergigante will come back as a negative one two in theory, he would be he would have to come back as a negative one too, because he's so fucking weak, and he can't. Yeah, just he, be... He's atrocious. Yes, um, I don't know what they could do to Nerg. Like, obviously, he needs some actual base ass stats. If they're gonna keep him a zero three, they have to lower his cost by a significant amount. <laughs> yeah, I also think they're just gonna they're they're not gonna keep the. What am I trying to say? They're not going to keep the 10 cards. A third of your deck is a ridiculous price. I don't sure. think they're going to... They can keep some cards, but I don't think it's going to be 10. No. Now, here, here's my thing. Uh, keep everything the same. You change one word in his path, meaning you still lose 10 cards. He still gets plus 7-7. Seven, seven. He's still a 0-3. Uh, here's his new effect. Both players have to get rid of 10 cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that would be ridiculous so nergigante immediately hits the field and you're like go ahead for that. <laughs> that's that's a bit much i think it'd be kind of hilarious <laughs> because it'd be like okay i guess now the only problem is is that now um you have to put everything into nergigante but both players are now suffering and also you've basically made that the match end like two minutes earlier I like Warble's suggestion. He says um, the stat stat boost should be based on graveyard cards. Oh, in your graveyard, the fatter he gets. Oh, that'd be hmm. Oh, but then, oh, how much is his current cost? By the way, you just cut out. I did not hear. How much is his current cost? Like eight. His current cost is. Um, let's check him right now. Seven. Oh shit! I say think... seven mana zero one. Ah, uh, mm. it's if they did that. Um... We were actually wrong in his ability. He's even worse than we thought he was. Okay. So he's seven mana. He's got zero attack and one health. Oh my god! And his ability so is nice. remove ten cards from your deck to get plus five plus ten. So he becomes a five eleven. Oh, that's way worse. Oh, I'm sorry, Nergagante. Yeah, that's even worse than we thought. <laughs> um, here's here's the, the funny special thing. level of that. If they do that, I think that actually makes it so that Ouroboros stays in the game because you've just given Ouroboros a never-ending, constantly growing. Um, Devil Joe would, uh, in essence, be replaced because um, Nergagante. You could just constantly bring him back, and every time you brought him back, he'd just be stronger. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he well. Burrows does proc their abilities because of the Bagel Guys version. Hmm. Oh, that's. I true. don't know. I don't know. No, but I feel like Burrows the, um... is getting nerfed. So like. Hmm. But I want to say that their um abilities that cost something, their effects don't activate. Like, so if you brought back a crow, you don't pay two life. That's true. You don't have to pay. Yeah. I wonder how it would work then. 
yeah, this would be an interesting. I I really do like that effect. By the way, I think that's something. That's also, like... I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be that good for Ouroboros because Ouroboros always only has like three monsters in the grave. Everything else is getting looped back with revenge the, anyway. Um, the 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 cards get sent to the graveyard. So after you use False Throne, that stays in your graveyard. After you use, um... I would just do it by by dead creatures. I wouldn't say by every card. Mm. Okay. If Could you imagine by... plus one plus one, and then you drop him, and he's like a twenty twenty one? Yeah. Thank you. There's literally <laughs> Jesus nothing... Christ. Literally nothing in the game would be able to stop him besides obliterate. Yeah, just obliterator, brainwash, or whatever. Yeah, brain. Oh, imagine you getting your brainwashed. <laughs> I don't know. I think Drops there's twenty one twenty one Nergigante, and it gets brainwashed. Yeah, I kind of like. Well, who knows. You know, it'd be actually funny if they made Legend Eater and Arigante have the ability of the old spike launch. So when he enters the field, he deals 30 damage to everything on the field. <laughs> Split across the board, 30 damage. Yeah. So it's like, remember the old Arigante? We made him into a legendary card. <laughs> <laughs> the orig- We made the season one meta a legendary card. Uh, that would be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be interested to see what they do with him. I just don't. He's similar to Dive Attack, where he's just so bad. I don't know how. If they want to keep his mechanic, I don't see how they can improve him. Yeah, you'd have to fundamentally rework him. Yeah. I don't see any way. Like he would, or either that or the stack game would have to be crazy. Yes. So like crazy, plus ten, plus ten, or something. Yeah. So crazy that you don't mind the fact that he could easily be turned back into a zero one if you're fighting green. And if before you say like if you're fighting green, they're running that card. There's just like no. It's like fighting green. You can yeah, always you assume. Always you always assume they have that card, they have the ability to seal you, and they have that fucking dinosaur-looking motherfucker that's ready to ruin your ability. If you at any point think that they don't have those cards, you've already lost. Because they will play it against you. Dinosaur. Oh, you mean the, the creature that seals. Yes, that one. The Monster Hunter guy that kind of looks like a um, Jurassic okay. Park dinosaur. Sure. Yes, that one. But... Yeah, and that's everything, right? That's it. That's all the changes. Man. It, that's a pretty big shakeup. Because, like, the only other time they did this, obviously, was Nergigante. Yes. That, the funny thing uh, is, is that I, I really do like the fact that they're hitting multiple. Here's the thing. I would have been very bummed out if they only hit Wesker. That's my current feeling. But I also would have felt the same if they only hit Morgan or if they only hit Rapalos. I really feel like... Um, uh, ign- ign- ignoring everything when else kind of ruins it if you're just like this one person because then you have to look back and go like what about them they're just as bad as I am and they're like you're right everyone's just getting it's basically that effect in high uh, preschool where you say but they were also talking and then everyone gets to have to sit in the corner so I'm glad that <laughs> Rathalos, Morgan, and Wesker all have to sit in the corner because they have been running rough yeah, the I, game. I will say yeah. that um, off easier than the others Darkness Illusion is not a huge problem because she doesn't really run it. No. The main thing for her is Ibuki and Four Eyes. Those are the two that Ibuki kind of, kind of hurts Dante more than her, in my opinion. Uh, but Four Eyes is really big. Yeah, Four Eyes big. for sure. I feel like... Um... Spirit also definitely ate the most shit because he lost two of his skills. Yeah. Or at least he's getting two of his skills hit. Um... But Maybe Rathalos so- shit because his skills also fucking suck other than Rathalokin. So we'll have to see what they do with yeah. Dive Attack. Again, Dive Attack has to be – this foot dive that he's doing right here has to basically save Rathalos. So yeah, that or they won't hit Rathalokin that hard. We'll see. I don't know. No, well, yeah, again, we'll see. Um and I'm looking forward to – I think these are all good. Like even as someone whose main is Western. Yeah, I, I think that – the meta is pretty diverse right now, but I, I do think it needs to get shaken up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think we're starting to fall into the point where it's like rock, paper, scissors between the top three. Yes. And that's a different... and you lose the other one. Then it's, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad to see it. I'm really looking forward to how uh, Nero the mains are the game. so happy right now, by the way. <laughs> Who's really happy right now? Ryu mains. Ryu mains are goddamn thrilled right now. <sighs> how. I'm going to have a talk to tap in. They have to stop letting Ryu <laughs> escape unscathed. I don't He's care. He's the mascot, bro. I, what do you want? 
I don't care that he's 50-50 in theory at every single fight he has. They have to stop letting Ryu get away with absolutely nothing. I think you've said like the only, there is some um, nerfs here for him. I forget. What did you say? The, the It's the... um. I, it's Quicksilver getting buffed is technically, in theory, a... Yeah, Quicksilver is really good against Ryu. So Ryu would over to become meta. But then at the same time, like... That's one person. Boroboros getting nerfed is a big buff for Ryu. Yes, it's... He really hits that matchup, and now he doesn't have to worry about it. And Revenge getting nerfed is also a big buff for Ryu. That's, yeah, it's a, a lot of this feels like just, like, Ryu's getting... Ryu's constantly get avoiding the axe. Like the axe is always right above his head, but he's never that much of a problem that they go like, "All right." Uh, well, that it's just the way that Ryu plays is like Ryu's oppressive, and if he wins early, he wins the whole game, and it sucks. But like, if he doesn't win early and he starts to lose, he's probably gonna lose. Ryu like has no clutch; he's got zero comeback. Yes. So, he... so I don't know. It's just, it's tough because it's like. I don't think he needs to be nerfed because I don't think he's like broken, but no. playing against him is just a struggle and he, he can compete with the top tier. So when you see Morgan and Wesker and Rathalos get hit and he doesn't get hit, the first thing you think is, oh my God, it's going to be Ryu City. But we have to see who else comes in. Like, we don't know what Nero is going to do. Maybe Nero will shit all over Ryu or, or and, you know, if Quicksilver does, shits over Ryu. We'll see. Um, it just feels weird that it always feels like, yeah. uh, but to be fair, we were in the same situation after Nergigante got nerfed. Ryu fans were just like, finally our time for our boy to be number one. And then Wrath fucking ate his lunch right away. <laughs> yeah. Wrath really uh, pisses Ryu off at, at times. Uh, <laughs> for sure. So we'll see. That, that's my thoughts on all of it. I, I've said pretty much everything that I want to say. Same here. And I say that as someone who occasionally plays Denjin Renki Ryu, which is the most degenerate shit in the history of the world. Um, I just really it is feel pretty like, fucking degenerate. <laughs> yeah, Ryu's days have to be numbered. Like I, he can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see. I don't know, man. It's tough. It is tough. Uh, Warble says Ryu loses to Green. We, you're banking really hard, Warble, on on uh, Green becoming good in this patch, and I don't know. I think that's a risky bet. We thought Red was going to be good. I don't believe that. So. I mean, because look at look at Day of Nightmares was like the Red Pack, and fucking Purple and Black are the ones that got all the good shit out of it. And Purple. Uh, only oh, I do the... think that Jill will be pretty good. Yes, yeah. Morgan Westerless Meta. Uh, we'll, it'll be nice to be a Jill player. It will be. I really hope that this uh, boosts up some of the other people for sure. But we're going to have to wait and see how these nerfs and buffs go down. And now I think yeah. the chicken is ca cawing like crazy. So I think that's time for us to end this. <laughs> Perfect. An hour and four minutes. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. Uh, I will be throwing this up, I think, immediately after. So don't worry if you miss the stream. We'll Perfect. stream people. Yeah, this, if you came so. in late or you missed it. You'll uh, you can see it on Wokey's channel right now. Yeah. Follow me on Twitter at Zenrado, and then I will retweet it out to everybody. Or just follow Wokey as well. Yeah. At purple underscore Wokey. Exactly. Follow us, and then if you're, oh, uh, if you... how do you feel about me getting Mim? Uh, really we're, we're we're gonna end this uh this uh, this one right now. I'm sorry, everyone. So goodbye. Say goodbye, everyone. Say goodbye, Zen. <laughs> Say... Bye, guys. Make sure you play Dragalia Lost to pull Halloween Mim before I, Loki does. I will stab you.